Rick Santelli is standing by at the CME. Rick, take it away. Yes, we are looking at yields popping up, and we are very close to the number here. They should be populating on the screen. This is, as Becky pointed out, March Consumer Price Index. The headline number expected to be up three-tenths is hotter than expected. It's up four-tenths of a percent, four-tenths of a percent, which equals our last look. And, of course, uh, to look for a higher number would be August of last year when it was up 0.5. But in between, we're as low as 0.1 in October of last year. This doesn't seem like it's cooling very quickly here. 0.4 if you strip out food and energy. Back-to-back 0.4s last month as well. As Becky pointed out, we're expecting 0.3. Uh, to find a higher number, you'll go to April of last year when it was 0.5. And in between, the low number was two tenths several times last year. If you look at year-over-year -year CPI, uh, we're expecting 3.4, hotter than expected, 3.5. This is three tenths, three tenths hotter than we looked at in the rearview mirror, 3.2. To find a bigger number than 3.5, you're going back to May of last year when it was, oh, I, excuse me, I am wrong, September of last year when it was 3.7. And finally, what many would consider the most important number, year-over-year uh, -year CPI core 3.8, hotter than expected, equals the rear view mirror. To, to find a higher number, January was 3.9. And what's the lowest it's been of late? Well, 3.8, our last look and what we have today, actually is the lowest since 3.0 in April of 21. The issue is it's still running hot. Now, many don't cover the indexes. To me, this is very enlightening. If you look at the non-seasonally adjusted Headline CPI index started in 1913. It's coming out today at 312.332, which is another all-time high. Meaning, if you go back to 1913, you won't find a higher number. And on the CPI core index, which is seasonally adjusted, the number here is 316.7. And that also is the highest ever. But this series was started in 1957. Interest rates... They're basically playing with 4.5% on a 10-year. We see pre-opening equities. Dow futures have dropped to about 350 points. Uh, I am sure, I am sure that the percentages are moving, and probably Steve Leisman will point that out. The June had popped back up above a 50% chance only slightly before the number, and I'm sure he will give us our update.